Well, the spookiest time of year, it's here. But did you know that Halloween actually originated in, of all places, Ireland thousands of years ago? It's made Ireland a tourist draw this time of the year, thanks to festivals and a lot of actual haunted sites. Travel Zoo senior editor Gabe Saglia joins us all the way from Trim Castle in Ireland with some spooky details for us today. Hi, Gabe. Hello, happy Halloween, and yeah, you said it, Trim Castle there, dates back to 1172, one of the great attractions out here in Ireland, and if you saw the movie Braveheart, then you recognize it quite well, uh, but uh, yeah, this is the epicenter of a lot of Halloween festivities this year. So tell me what you've learned about Halloween, and how did it get started there in Ireland? Great question. I'm, at, I'm just a couple of miles here in, in the city of Trim uh, from a place called the Hill of Ward, Hill of Clachta uh, in, in Irish. This is a private farm now, but I got to sneak on uh, and check this out uh, firsthand. Uh, 3,000 years ago, through archaeological digs and carbon dating of remains found here, they determined that the very first sort of sacrificial ceremonies would have taken place here. They were known as Samhain, Samhain back then, Halloween today. And they would light these huge fires uh, on, on, on this hill and a couple of surrounding hills to usher in the end of the calendar year. October 31st, end of harvest, the beginning of now the darker, the winter season to come. And also when people believe the veil between this world and the next was at its thinnest, meaning that ghosts could very well cross over and perform spooky phenomena. So those traditions, long standing here, thousands of years ago, uh, known as Halloween today, and celebrated all over the world as the Irish have, of course, spread all over uh, the planet. How cool is that? And a bunch of festivals are actually inspired by this Halloween. And over the last few years, I understand, are drawing a lot of travelers. Again, I think a lot of folks are using these festivals as a great excuse to come out here, enjoy Ireland in that sort of slower time of the year when the crowds have thinned out after the summer peak uh, and celebrate Halloween where it all began. So I was part of what's known as Puka Festival. There I was. I got to lead uh, part of this parade down uh, the beautiful city of Trim. Everybody, I think everybody who lives here was out for this parade lining the streets. Uh, it's very sort of a Mardi Gras style procession uh, and sort and a lot of paying homage to the characters that a lot of folks would have grown up hearing about uh, around Samhain and around the original uh, stories of Halloween. Some of those characters, in fact, have found their way to me right now. A lot of these sort of spectacular fire dancers. Uh, but these are, and that's Puka right there in the middle. She, Puka, uh, is a shapeshifter. Um, she's a story of a legend. And if you ran into her, like in the middle of the night, in the middle of a forest, you're in trouble. So watch out for Puka. So a little, a little scary, but she has inspired uh, Puka Festival here in this part of Ireland, known, known as County Meath. We're about 45 miles uh, outside of the city of Dublin. But really, these kinds of festivals happen all over the country. In fact, up in Northern Ireland, Dairy Halloween is world-renowned as a spectacular Halloween event. Someone who's been celebrating there for hundreds of years. She's my other Dairy Girl. But Winifred the Witch has been celebrating Dairy Halloween. And boy, uh, Dairy Halloween really knows how to, how to celebrate this spooky hol uh, holiday of the year, uh, don't they, uh, Winifred? Oh, hello, Gabe. Yes, Dairy Halloween, in my opinion, really know how to do it best. And I've seen quite a few Halloween celebrations. <laughs> As you may be able to hear, it's in full swing. And last night they awakened inside the city's 400-year-old city walls. Oh, and tomorrow evening they'll take a procession of delicious... I mean, delightful little children through the city, all dressed up in costumes. It really is my favorite place to attend for Halloween because all the people get all dressed up. It's perfect for monsters like us to blend in. Isn't that right, Vlad? Yes, there is the best Halloween. All the rest suck. And I should know about sucking. <laughs> <laughs> and by, by the way, I should mention that USA Today named Dairy Halloween the biggest and best Halloween party in the world a couple of years ago just because it is that spectacular. Yeah, so these festivals have popped up, embracing the roots of Halloween here in Ireland. And really, a lot of folks across Europe and across the USA are, in fact, using that as, a, as an excuse, as an inspiration to come out and enjoy uh, the spooky uh, holiday uh, where it all began thousands of years ago. Fascinating stuff. Thank you so much for sharing that with us and introducing us to a pretty incredible witch there as well. Um, I, That's I, Winifred for you. I love it. Winifred indeed. Well, we sure appreciate you taking the time to educate us today on so many things related to Halloween. And Gabe, happy Halloween to you.
Yeah, same to you. Thanks very much. Happy Halloween.